thanks everyone for coming. Joy is doing hi fi there. Um, so I'm going to talk about a new feature that we released in 14.0. Um, <clears throat> so we did do a blog post, uh, blog post about this uh, a couple of weeks ago for those of you who are interested in learning more details about this, but this is going to be like an overview, quick overview of what this feature means. Um, so the motivation for this is pretty simple. Uh, we wanted to do really seamless Mesos upgrades. And by seamless, I mean when we do upgrade Mesos slaves, for example, we didn't want the, the user tasks to be interrupted. So they didn't have to know that we even did an upgrade. Uh, previously, when we did an upgrade, all the tasks on a slave died. And it was up to the scheduler to kind of reschedule them on a different host. And we wanted to get away from that because it makes us uh, like pushing code faster and easier at Twitter and hopefully everywhere else that Mesos is used. Um, and the second bit is also kind of important is uh, having a graceful recovery from failures. Um, like Mesos slaves might fail because of some code bugs, uh, which is hopefully rare. Um, but also things like Zookeeper issues cause slaves to fail. And most of the times, you could just restart a slave and things go, go back to normal. So in these cases, also, we don't want users' tasks to be interrupted. It would be awesome if when the slave is done and came back up, the task could still run as it is, and the world uh, straightens itself up. Um, so the, the way this feature works is that, or what this feature essentially means is that when Mesos slave is down, all the processes since their fork exact, um, they still keep running, uh, even though they don't have a slave to talk to, and we change the driver side on the executor to kind of cache things um, till a slave comes back up. And the slave checkpoints data about the tasks and executors on the local disk. Uh, and when it restarts, it basically reads the date, um, data from the checkpointed um, log and then reconnects to all the tasks that are running. So the way you enable this is pretty simple. First, make sure you're running Mesos 14.0 or later. I would recommend 14.2 at least, because there are some bugs in 14.0 that we fixed. Um, so on the slave, there's a new flag called checkpointing. Um, you should set that to true if it's 14. In 15, we made the default to true. Um, and there's a, there's a second part to this, where is frameworks can actually opt into this feature. Um, if frameworks think that checkpointing the data is kind of like reduces their launching of tasks throughput, they might actually opt out and say, I don't care that much about my tasks being lost. I want like faster lo uh, launching of tasks. So they could opt out. Uh, if you want to do opt-in, um, there's a new field on the protobuf framework info called checkpoint. And you set that to true, and then Mesos should take care of it. That's pretty much it. Uh, there's more information on our blog. And it links to our documentation for this feature. It kind of goes into more technical details if you're interested. Um, that's about it. Cool. Thank you.